This is a quick tour around the Adobe Animate interface. <clears throat> so when you uh, set up a new project, you uh, will get this dialog box when you open it um, and you'll select new. Um, th the first option uh, in the web option here, 960 by 640 is a good option. Okay, So when you uh, hit create, that will start a new project. and um, and that will be a blank project. There won't be anything in it. And uh, you might want to check out some preferences. When, when you first open it, um, you might be what they call the beginner's preferences. And those look very, very different than the advanced preferences. And so even though we're beginners here, we're not going to select that option. Okay, notice the tool palette's a lot shorter, a lot shorter over here. So, um, if it looks like way, if it looks that way, then go in and select export expert preferences. Okay, so once you have that selected, you'll then um, check out a couple other preferences. So let's go to edit preferences, edit preferences. Click on that. There's a couple things. Um, one of the things is the UI theme is you have dark, darkest, light, light. So you could pick like a light theme, and um, and that obviously looks very different. It's up to you what you want to do, so you can sort of play around with that. Um, I've been kind of just working with the dark. Um, the darkest interface is pretty dark. Um, you know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to find um, menu menu uh, bars and that kind of stuff. And even in the dark mode, it's sometimes kind of difficult. Your your UI appearance um, comfortable or compact. I'm working with compact because I'm in a little bit smaller screen here. <clears throat> um, anything else in here? Oh, your undo levels um, uh, are set at 100. That's probably fine. Um, and then the auto recovery is a sort of an auto save. Um, by default, it's set to 10 minutes. And that's fairly short. And especially if you're working on a fairly large project, which ours start to become and you're working on a machine that maybe is a laptop without a lot of RAM and horsepower, it can start auto-saving every 10 minutes and it can take a little while and all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's auto-saving. So you might want to turn that to 20 or maybe 30 minutes. Um, if you turn it off, you'll just have to have to remember to save, but just know that Adobe Animate isn't the most stable program. It is known for crashing, and if it does crash while you haven't saved, you'll lose everything since the last save. So just be aware that that's something to uh, to be aware of. Okay, other than that, there's nothing else we need to worry about in the preferences. Okay. So basically, we have a similar situation um, to perhaps Premiere, where we have a stage and we have a timeline. We have tools. We have a properties um, window and a library window. And then we have some more tools. <laughs> so just looking at this very quickly, just trying to, okay, there we go. Just looking at this very quickly, um, starting in the tools, we have a pointer, which is, you know, the typical pointer. Click on things, select them, and so on, draw marquees, whatnot. We have a, um, a transform dialog box, which allows you to scale and do other things with that. Um, we'll talk more about these tools when we get to them. Um, we have a um, polygon drawing tool, which is a cool new tool. Um, we also have um, some other drawing tools. We have some shape tools, line tools, and a text tool, as well as some other more advanced tools. We'll get into the use of these tools when we actually need to use them. Down below, uh, we have the timeline and we have the stage. And the stage is essentially what is happening in the timeline. So this is really what it looks like, but this is the engine. Okay, so this whole environment right here is the timeline. It has layers. And again, we'll get into detail on these when we actually get started with the project. 
we have keyframes. We have frames in the, okay, let's just zoom in on that real fast for a second, okay? These are all individual frames, and we have keyframes, and keyframes are in some ways similar to the keyframes that we've been using before, except that um, instead of having uh, impact in animation, which they do, this program actually does animation pretty well, actually has some pretty cool animation features, as well as interactivity features, so the timeline works uh, in two very different ways. We're going to use it primarily as a timeline um, navigation feature rather than an animation feature. So the keyframes in this case represent screens. So uh, this is the first keyframe, that's the first screen. Then you have a second keyframe, that's another screen. Third keyframe is another screen, and so on. And again, I'll talk more about this when we actually start building the project. Um, we have a bunch of controls here which we're not really going to deal with because these are more primarily for animation. Um, and then we've got a little zoomer to zoom in and out of your timeline. <clears throat> and then in the properties, we have um, properties are typical um, of Adobe. This has been redesigned in 2020. Um, and basically, depending on what you click on, provides opportunities for different properties. So I just clicked on a button on the stage that is an object. I could do things to that object. Um, as well, there's things that are going on in the frame that I'm clicking on, and then that frame has properties, as well as the document itself has properties. Again, we'll talk more about these in detail as we uh, get into the actual constru construction of the project. And then um, we've got a few tools up here. We'll talk a little bit about those. And then we have tools here on the right, which involve color, swatches, um, transforming tools, alignment tools, and so on. We'll get into these as we need to. And then uh, we also have a library. And this is where all your assets are imported before they're placed onto the timeline. And um, so that's basically the overview of the of the uh, animate interface itself. There's in, in a lot of ways it's actually pretty simple, um, and um, so that's pretty much how it works. So um, yeah, so we'll get started on the project in the next couple of videos. All right.